In this video, I'm going to talk about a tracheal shave, which actually has quite a few terms that mean the same thing. So an Adam's apple reduction, sometimes it's called, and the formal name for that is a thyroid chondroplasty, which basically means you're reducing some of the size of the cartilage of the Adam's apple. Now this is very common for trans females to seek out, especially if they have a prominent Adam's apple, and not everybody does, so it's not a procedure that everybody does, but it's sometimes something that people want very much. Very often I recommend the services of an ear, nose and throat surgeon for doing this kind of surgery because this is their specialist area, the larynx, or one of the specialist areas. And it's also the case now that many facial feminization surgeons do this surgery. It's important that it's done carefully because behind the pointy bit of your Adam's apple, the vocal cords will attach. They kind of go backwards in the body like that and open and shut. And that little V at the front needs to stay sharp because that's what brings the tension to your vocal cords. So it's important that only a little bit is taken off, enough to cosmetically enhance the profile as people are seeking, but not too much because if, if that cartilage becomes too weak or too thin, the vocal cord attachment will get destabilized and that will make it harder for tensioning, which is what's necessary for pitches to change. So of course in my career now, I've been doing this for a long time and have seen many cases where voice outcomes following a shave have not been great. Now in reality, a thyroid shave should not affect the voice, but also in reality, I have seen that it does in many cases. I can say in most cases, it's because a little bit too much was taken off. So when that happens, if you've had a shave and you notice that your voice has changed, then do go and see an ear, nose and throat doctor because those vocal cords need to be looked at and needs to be assessed whether there has actually been a weakening or whether perhaps it was just a temporary thing, perhaps from intubation or something like that. And therapy can often help to re-establish higher pitches or to develop the pitches. And in some cases, some people will actually need surgical assistance to re-establish some of that tensioning. And there's quite a few procedures now that the ENT doctors can, can think about doing to help that tensioning. Sometimes just having a surgery and perhaps being intubated can be a bit traumatic for the vocal folds. So that might be why there are a little bit of alterations. But after about three weeks, if you notice that the voice sounds different, and very often you'll notice it when you try and go higher as in singing, so you might notice there's been a bit of change there. Sometimes a very subtle change isn't, doesn't have much effect on the spoken voice at all. For other people, however, they do feel that their voice gets a bit more stuck and that they can't change the pitch easily. And sometimes it just sounds a bit, almost sometimes like you have a double voice. So that can be something to look out for. So in summary, don't leave it too long. Wait about three weeks, I suppose, and then see how your voice is sounding. And trying out a few exercises, a few glides, ee, ooh, you'll be able to see whether your voice can do those things. So after a thyroid shave or an Adam's apple reduction, you may get voice changes, but the goal is that you won't get any voice changes. If you do notice some, you need to go and get your voice checked out by an ear, nose and throat doctor. Changes can be things like changing, being able to change your pitch, sustain your voice for as long as you used to be able to reach higher notes as well as you used to be able to or even sounding a bit hoarse and a bit rough in the tone and all these things if they've gone on for more than about three weeks get it checked out in the majority of cases an adam's apple reduction or a thyroid chondroplasty laryngeal shave will go perfectly according to plan and it will have no effect on the voice and in fact that's the goal it's not done to affect the voice it's just done as a cosmetic procedure but in some cases, a smaller amount, it does sometimes have a little effect on the voice, usually because perhaps a little bit too much has been taken off or in some way it's just destabilized the attachment. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel.